Oh, hey, what the, f hey, listen. Hi, uh, today is April 2nd, weather is good. Yesterday was April 1st, April Fool's Day. Lots of jokes, a lot of crazy memes. <laughs> you guys are silly. And um, today we're actually headed to the gym and we're doing the same thing. Everything's feeling freaking great. Uh, we're on that uh, journey. We're on the dunk life. Vintage shirt wearing uh, right now. I need to get a new ones, but I don't want to pay for them because I still have to pay for them even though they're my own shirts. Moving on, um, I'm doing some baby jumps today with some weight just to build some confidence into my knee because last time I was dunking, I was a little hesitant off it. I don't want to build a bad habit. I'm feeling really good. If you watch those vlogs, you know what the hell I'm talking about. Let's just keep the story moving. And um, anything else? Um, gang, gang, dunk life. Um, I dropped a podcast today, yesterday, whenever. Also, uh, more videos coming and also dunking Thursday and also dunking Thursday and also dunking Thursday and also dunking Thursday. <laughs>feeling great and I want to give an example so I jumped on Sunday and it's two days since and my back was actually super sore from that jumping session so today I did a little shoulders and chest and doing my little body squats is a good time to kind of work on my back as well meaning warm it up get that soreness fluid motion whatever you want to call it you know what I'm talking about blood flowing a little bit and I did shoulders and chest those are actually affected my jumping so my first mentality was I want to be fresh for Thursday so I can jump really well I don't want to do shoulders and chest because then it'll be sore and that's used in jumping but I'm like you know what there's no point of postponing those gains I might as well jump with sore arms it's only gonna make my jumping even better so that's how I think and I usually think like that but I just wanted to point that out because I haven't really spoken about that in a while I'm always thinking about the next workout but you don't want to postpone your gains so don't just stay fresh today when you can make progress today so I made progress on my shoulders and my chest and I also think it's going to be a benefit for my jumping because I'm not like performing on Thursday. I'm just having a jump workout dunk session and so I'm feeling really great. Anyway, can't I wait. I just got to work and you know I'm doing that. Never stop, never stop, always on attack. Locked in the path, never getting off track. Whatever I lack, add it to my bag. And I got plenty more where that came from. And my price is right, I never change. But I don't get it done, get it done right. And that's every day, that's my life. Oh, that's You know what day it is, you know what time it is, let's get it. I uh, headed to a baby rim 99. I was thinking about going to another rim, but my mentality's not there yet. I really wanna focus on just getting that balance jump and not really doing anything besides letting my mind be at ease so I could focus on what I need to focus on, and that is jumping off my left leg with no hesitation because I'm coming off an injury and I spent months trying to lay off my knee so now it's hard to go full force on my knee so that's what i'm practicing going to a low rim going to practice a lot of drop step jumps to get that balance and then as i feel more comfortable some max jumps last session was pretty good i had one or two jumps that felt great so i'm hoping just a little bit more progress this session and a few bangers i'm hoping to yam at least one i really want to go unconscious mode and just have a few nasty jumps let's bang bro that didn't come out right okay see ya two days ago, which is what I wanted. Plus, my muscles got bigger and stronger from my upper body workout, so now I get to use them more functionally. So I, I, so I kind of create that stimulus, instead of them just to grow and get strong, I want them to be functional. Already feeling a lot more comfortable jumping. Uh, just gonna keep warming up. I have a ton of energy, but my body still feels like it's waking up. 
So uh, keep it gradual, feeling great. Let's go. Already a lot better than I thought I would be. It feels good, it feels good. That little piece, that little more effort, I'm hesitating off my left leg. So I gotta keep it super gradual because I'm trying to go from like whatever it is, 20% to like 40%. I gotta go every percentage because I'm still hesitating off that left leg. As soon as I finish this game though and it's empty, woo! I'm not comfy at all, I'm not exploding. I'm still very hesitant. I feel great, I just gotta jump with full force. Hey, my jumps like that feel really good. I feel like I'm getting good height and very balanced. So I, guess I gotta bridge the gap. That one went behind me, so I had to go up right with it and I had my best jump yet, even though it wasn't that high. It felt like my most forced jump with most balance. That makes sense? I feel like I have a baby wrist, everything hurts. So feeling really good. Definitely put more force on it than last session, which was the goal. And my knee still feels really good, but I definitely feel more force going through it. So it's scary. So next level, but feeling really good. Keeping the balance. I just want to bang one. A little bit of a better jump. Definitely felt more controlled and got a little bit good height, but um, I was trying to go too hard before I slowed it down a little bit, increased the force, but kept it more controlled. That was uh, such a light jump. With the ball in my hand, I feel a lot of force going through my, my left knee. So off a lob, I think I'm way more of a speed jumper. But when it comes off the dribble, I try to use so much more power. I think that's why there's such a big disparity between my, my two. I feel one yam in me. So that jump felt great. Probably best one yet since I've been back dunking. Really good progress because I'm definitely increasing my force. I wasn't even supposed to be max jumping at this point and I still don't feel like I'm able to jump max jump, meaning like put 100% force, but I'm getting closer and I just gotta be happy with it because I was supposed to be a few more weeks before I even start jumping out of court. So I'm way ahead of schedule, still feeling great. Tried to go a little harder and it got off balance. Great session so far. I gotta remember that I can't do everything all at once. I wanna build my jump endurance and keep increasing, but I gotta just make progress. I can't just jump to the next stage. I know I've said that a million times, but there's just so many things I wanna work on, but I gotta do one thing at a time. Definitely the best jump by far. I just wish I really banged it. I'm gonna end it right there. That was such a good jump, and I just didn't finish it great, but the jump was so forceful and so balanced that I felt really good about it. So I'm gonna end it there. On to the next session. Probably gonna rest up longer than I did between the last two sessions. Probably a couple days until I feel super healthy. Um, get back to upper body, a little bit of jump squats. Probably be like a week or so till I dunk next, but feeling fantastic. We did it again. 
uh, made a little bit of progress and I'm super pumped about it. Dunk life, baby. I'm also training to become a life coach. I enrolled in a, a training program now, so my content might not be as frequent because I got classes to go to, but uh, we out here for real. Podcast coming soon, a good podcast coming soon with a, a new guest, and uh, that's it. Let's get it. Keep working and enjoy your life, boy. Cleared out quick in here.